well, we've got to start talking about how to actually make revenue from a blog. That's what we're going to cover in this lesson. Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. So since this module is all about starting a profitable blog, well, we've got to start talking about how to actually make revenue from a blog. That's what we're going to cover in this lesson. When I started back in 2010, my very first income from my blog was through a sponsored post. Before I had ever created any sort of services or products or courses or anything like that, someone emailed me after six months of blogging and said, can I put a link on your site in one of your blog posts and I will pay you $100 for it? And I said, is this for real? Someone's going to pay me to just put a link on one of my blog posts? All right, sounds good to me. I've got it made. I'm quitting my day job. Obviously, I couldn't quit my day job with that, but I was so excited that someone wanted to pay me $100 to put a link in one of my blog posts that I was already writing anyway. So this is one of the secrets behind blogging of how bloggers are actually making an income, and that's what we're going to cover today. So the first way that you can make an income from blogging is by doing sponsored posts. So if you have a lot of traffic, and I emphasize you must have a lot of traffic to do this, you can create sponsored blog posts. So either the company will provide you a blog post that they want to put on your website and it will include a link back to their site, or you will create the content and write the blog yourself and include their link. Now, obviously you're going to charge a little bit more money if you're actually do writing the content and creating it yourself. But most companies like that because then it's a lot more natural and organic to your website when you're actually being the one that's actually writing the content. So companies will also pay you to host reviews of their product. They'll also pay you to do some sort of contest with other people. So we've had like book giveaways and planner giveaways where we write the blog posts and do a giveaway and they sponsor that and they'll pay you for that. So if you are looking to do sponsored posts, then you want to create a media kit and I'll include ours right below this so you can check it out and see how we do it. And you also want to know that there are guidelines that you have to share with other people that it is a sponsored post. Because if you're just recommending things, but you're also getting paid for it, people need to know that, right? You're, you're getting paid to do this recommendation. So there are some guidelines that say that you do actually need to be upfront and honest that you are getting paid for sponsored posts or for reviews and product reviews and contests. So just something to be aware of. The second way to earn an income through blogging is with banner advertising. So this is when a company comes in and gives you an image or a graphic to put on your website, maybe in your sidebar or on your homepage, and they pay you per month. So my very first income was that sponsored post that for $100. My second one was banner advertising because someone offered to pay me to put their graphic on my website for like six months. And I made $700 in the very beginning by just putting an image on my blog post in my sidebar. And I was ecstatic. Like that was so cool. Still, I was just earning, earning an income by blogging and putting that image on my sidebar. So I thought it was so cool. Still couldn't quit my day job. But hey, at least uh, there was some income coming in. If you're interested in banner advertising, you can also look into Google AdSense. And Google AdSense will actually pay you for how many visitors you have to your website and how many people actually see the ads that you put on there. So they'll give you an HTML code that you can copy and paste into your website so that there is an ad that comes up every time people come to your, their web, come to your website. And the, the thing about Google AdSense is it's an ad that's specialized and personalized to that follower to that reader. So everyone's kind of getting a different ad based off Google knows us, right? So they, if they know that I'm looking at a book or I'm shopping, they're going to give me ads that are based off what 
I'm looking for and I'm interested in. So that's something you can play around with as well, but I'm going to emphasize this just as like I did with the sponsored post. You have to have a lot of website traffic if you are going to rely on this as your sole income. And another caveat, banner advertising is also not something that we rely on anymore as a source of income because you also have someone else's image and picture on your website and it might not actually jive with your brand. And that's what I realized. We had someone um, just, just recently who wanted to put a picture of women in bathing suits on our website. It just, it doesn't really flow with our brand. All right, number three is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is when you have used a product or a course or a service yourself and you're recommending it to other people and then you can get a commission for that. So for example, we use lead pages to collect people's emails and contact information in our business. And it's something that when you get into the later modules with Corporate Rescue Plan, you'll see that we recommend lead pages. If you buy lead pages with our affiliate link, we earn a commission. So you have to be completely upfront and honest about that, about how you're gonna earn a commission, but you're also helping people out and giving them access to information. And I know if people purchase lead pages through us, we're happy to help them out and teach them and, and guide them and answer questions because they used our affiliate link. So something to be careful about with, with affiliate marketing, you wanna make sure that you have actually used the product or service. In the very beginning, I was friends with a lot of people in the online world and I was recommending people's services or their courses that I hadn't taken myself. And what I realized is those people's courses really didn't fit with my brand and they weren't actually courses that I would have enjoyed and liked myself. So I, I made a firm rule a couple years ago that I would no longer do any sort of affiliate marketing unless I had actually taken the course and benefited from that course as well or benefited from that service in, in the case of lead pages. So that's something that you want to be aware of because as you grow, you're going to get a lot of emails and a lot of requests for you to be an affiliate. If I said yes to everyone, I would be promoting something every hour because we are constantly getting emails about, hey, you can earn a commission by promoting this. Well, I don't use that. Why would I ever recommend that if I've never used it myself? So something you want to be aware of if you choose affiliate marketing. And the fourth way that you can earn an income with blogging is by selling your own product or service. So this is one of the things I'm a huge proponent for. You can use all of these ways to earn revenue, but I would love to see you create your own product or service. Why? Because then you are in control. I realized very quickly that when other people were in control of doing sponsored posts or banner advertising, they're in control, not me. And it didn't allow me to be able to quit my day job because I had to rely on other people's advertising dollars and marketing budget. But when I created my own products or services, that's when my business could really grow because I was in charge. I could launch, the, launch a certain product at a certain time or I could launch a service at another time and my income would grow based on me being in control. So the way to do that is just by being yourself on your blog, blogging about your expertise, blogging about your product. You can show pictures of it. You can show results. You can blog about case studies of people who have used your product or service. And then when it comes time to sell your product, you can lead people on your blog into your email list. And that's really where you're going to be doing most of your selling is through emails. So we'll talk about this later, but you want to make sure that you have some sort of opt-in form on your blog at the end of each blog post that you're directing them to sign up for your email list, maybe to get a free worksheet or guide or PDF or video or webinar. You know, there's so many different options where you can generate those leads into prospects. All right, the four ways to earn a revenue through blogging are number one, through sponsored posts where someone pays you to include their post on your website and a link back to their site. Number two, banner advertising where someone puts an image on your website. Number three, affiliate marketing where you recommend someone else's product or service and you get a commission for that for anyone who actually purchases. And number four, by selling your own product or service and using your blog as a way to earn trust and get people to know, like, and trust you so that they're comfortable with you to give you their email address, their contact information, and then you can sell your products or own products or service 
through email. All right, so your action today is to pick one of these four ways as your first way to earn a revenue through blogging. Hey there, it's Anna Runyon, and I would like to invite you to my upcoming free masterclass called How to Plan, Design, and Launch Your Dream Career or Business Without Wasting Time or Money. I'm gonna go over three simple strategies to go from feeling stuck at work to waking up excited every single Monday. So you can save your seat at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash masterclass.